just gonna geo achievement. You just showed everybody your tracking code, Jimmy. Well, then edit it out. We're getting ready to go. I'm gonna put more stuff that you need to edit out into the video. Not if I stop first. We're getting fuel at the gas station for our trip. And I want to show you this. This container is uh, full of these glass beads. It's pretty loud. There's, a, there's about 200 something glass beads in there. And our goal is to put one in every cache that we find that they fit in and we want to get rid of all of them. By the time we get back, we want to have no more beads. So that's our goal. We've got 1400 miles to do it. So, let's see how it goes. We are coming up on the first cache on our trip. Number 970 for me. 970 and, and for me. It's 970 for Jimmy as well. So, it's still about 0.7 miles away, so we'll get to it in a minute. We have arrived at number one. It's probably in that push four. Is it in there? Yep, got it. Number one. Found. Is there any travel bugs? There's supposed to be three in here. Oh yes, and the first glass bead. mountain is called Black Butte, and uh, the tip of it is in the fog. It's kind of a cool uh, thing. It looks cool. I guess it's just kind of extending up into the clouds. It's cool. We are almost to the California-Oregon border. Yeah, we're close. So, we're about to cross over. Siskiyou Summit, Jackson County line. Wait a minute, Jackson County is Oregon. Did we already pass the sign? We did, because look, there's the Welcome to California sign. Oh, Darn it. We passed the sign. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, cool. Oregon Yep, Oregon welcomes us. Haha, <laughs> took a picture. Cool. Alright. We are now officially in Oregon. We are going for our first cache in Oregon uh, for this trip. Anyway, we've found caches in Oregon before, but first one of this trip. And it will be a new record for both of us, I think. Um, it's going to be the furthest north cache we've found. And pretty much every cache we find from this point will be a new one. Oh. Oregon police. I'm not driving, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, there it is. And two trackables. And actually, uh, on my pocket query, or whatever, the caches that I collected... Well, I need to go under this tree. Every single cache that is on my list, on my GPS right now, is supposed to have trackables. On the website, they, uh, it says they have them. This was the first one that actually did. Crazy. People need to learn how to log trackables. There was a comment on my last video asking what Mountain Dew is. Here it is. It is a, uh, a soft drink made by the Pepsi-Cola company. Um, it's a citrus, a citrus soda, um, it's like, God, I think it's
it's mostly orange, but it has other flavors in it. Carbonated orange. No, it doesn't taste a lot like orange soda, but orange is one of the major flavors in it. It yeah. tastes like a sweet, like super sweet, 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 It's just a sweet citrus soda. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's similar to like mellow yellow. Mike forgot to drop a bead in the last cache, so that is what he is doing. That is a rule, we have to drop a bead in every single cache that we find. I don't know if you can see him, but he's down there. See, these are the beads. It's a lot of them. Oh my god, it's a Bigfoot. Shaky camera. There automatically has to be a shaky camera every time there's a Bigfoot. Ah! He's attacking the car. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna attack me! Ah! Ah! This one's pretty cool. It's called Caching Across America. It's a little bit cooler than it was. But, um... There's one cache hidden in every state with a clue to find the final, and this is the one for Oregon. It's across the street. Um, so anyway, this one has one of the 50 clues you need. I don't think we're gonna find the other ones anytime soon, but anyway, it's kinda cool finding this one. There's a deer up there looking at us. He's just looking at me. You can't scare the deer. You tried? Boo! Yep, just standing there. Pretty cool. Found a cache called Exact Location Unknown, and um, it took you to the gate of a cemetery. And in that cemetery, there was a sign on one of the trees that said, These people are buried here. Exact location unknown. And it had four names on rocks in the, on the ground. So the people were buried somewhere there, but they don't know where. So they put tombstones just by the tree. And the hint said that it is in the tree behind you. So I turned around and looked, and there was a hole in the tree, and that's where it was. But anyway, now we're... Uh, have to continue. We still have almost two hours of driving to do to get to where we're going. Right? Yes. We found this tape in a cache. The best of Eddie Rabbit. And we will listen to it. That's exactly what I thought. Country and Western. Hey, bartender. Off the top. Oh, this is like your dad's music. You can give your dad this tape. Anyway, see you later. Well, that last one was easy to find, but it was weird because we parked our car on the road. And uh, we went to find it, and as we were signing the log, this other car pulled up and stopped. And we were, we thought maybe he was going to find it too, but he kind of looked at us funny and like wondered what we were doing. And then he told me, I'm just here to get my jacket. And it turns out there was like a sweatshirt hanging in the tree next to us. And he climbed up the tree, pulled the jacket out, and left. That's really interesting. I wish I would have asked him what the story was behind it, but I didn't. So I will have no idea, ever, never know why that jacket was in the tree. Just out on the side road in the middle of nowhere. Anyway.
almost there. About 60 miles left to go. We've got a few more caches to find to reach our goal for the day. And then we're good. And then we do basically the same thing tomorrow. Just continue going on. So, see you later. Do you have anything to say, Joey? No. We have switched drivers. Jimmy yeah. can't handle it. Mike is driving now. And uh, I was falling asleep, so. Prepare to keep right onto CR62. So, we switched drivers because I was falling asleep. At we our, have arrived at our at first the, stop. So, at the uh, inn. At the inn. We are in the inn. Well, not well, we're, inside we're not right now. We are at the inn. We're in the parking lot. Pretty right soon now. we will be in the inn. Cool. This is the room that we are staying in in Eugene. I've got my laptop set up. Bags. Jimmy. Got a TV. A little heater over here. And uh, the restroom is dark. But that's really all it is, just a little tiny place. We're only staying here for the night, and then we are continuing north to Seattle tomorrow. And uh, what do you have to say, Jeremy? This is the last clip of the day. We're gonna go to Seattle tomorrow, yay!